working. So only with the default clouds and only with all that nice things that look amazingly anyway um, enabled the tweaks will work. Um, I think it's better to... Uh, I know that HDR can be a kind of performance killer, especially over dense USM, uh, OSM scenery, but I find it better to uh, to change the settings here and to, to get rid of too much detail uh, within the objects or put down the trees uh, one or two uh, notch, um, notches or the number of roads or even I, I think um, the number of cars is a thing that still looks great with the lowest setting Siberia winter no need to, to turn it off to crank it up like New York <laughs> or Los Angeles downtown because that really kills performers um, I prefer to turn those things down or the shadows um, I came from uh, global high all the way down to 3D on aircraft which gives me more headroom especially when streaming and I prefer to have this HDR, HDR thing going on and I prefer to have that really outstanding look that can be achieved within seconds with a tool called Data Ref Editor. Yeah. So, okay. But that one last thing I wanted to mention. Um, if you use the default clouds, there's a thing going on called whiteout, which means if you are flying inside a formation of clouds, you get a complete whiteout. Only white is displayed um, on the outside, which isn't too realistic. You can even get rid of that with uh, the use of Data Ref Editor. For that, you go again to the Art Controls and you search for Clouds. And the very last entry at the bottom, it's called Sky C Sky Color slash White Out and Clouds, and it says by default 1.0. Just go into that value, change it to zero, close it again, and there's no more white out effect if you enter the clouds. Yeah, okay, that's it for now. Just download the tool, it's completely for free, it won't do any harm to your um, installation, and yeah, you can take my settings as a start point to, to make your own settings to give it a try. Um, yeah, you can't cannot pro break uh, break anything because uh, once you shut down the simulator, everything is uh, on its default values again when you boot it up freshly. So just have fun with it, and um, yeah, see you next time on the live stream. Bye bye.